Here's an overview of the Dimensional Insight Healthcare Applications product family. So we think of the family in three different layers. Uh, we have the foundational layer with uh, hospital and ambulatory settings of care. So on the hospital side, uh, we include basic measures around accounts like uh, discharges, uh, admissions, uh, length of stay, things associated with accounts like uh, charges and diagnoses. And similar on the ambulatory side, but with measures that are specific to the ambulatory environment. In the middle layer, we have a service line specific applications such as the emergency department, which adds information to the hospital operations data set for things specific to emergency department encounters like uh, boarding time, uh, turnaround time, to help identify uh, bottlenecks and opportunities to uh, Im improve throughput and performance. Then there's revenue cycle advisor, which is uh, specific to the revenue cycle business function, provides measures around things like um, denials and receivables, uh, which provides insight for increasing the efficiency of the revenue cycle. And then finally, Outcomes Advisor uses uh, CMS specified measures and provides the ability for you to compare your performance on those measures to those of a peer cohort that you select. So that's the product line, but more importantly, we wanted to talk about um, how our customers have been able to uh, benefit and take advantage of the information from these applications. So I've asked Nora Lissy, the vice president of our consulting implement, implementation group to join me and talk a little bit about this. Nora, can you give us some ideas as to how customers are using these applications? Sure, thanks, George. I'm gonna talk briefly around these uh, various bullet points on the board here. We've uh, created some, several different types of COVID-19 dashboards, some that were for, um, on, you know, to look and see what patients have been tied into the census, if you will and who are the patients in house, positive, negative. And then we also have some uh, data around um, post-discharge and, and uh, maybe some lost volumes. Uh, we also have a lot of customers using the DI uh, hourly census to help support their morning huddles. When, and some of them have really enhanced their census by adding things such as um, the uh, EDOC measures in the ED, looking at the um, when they're going to be hitting capacity so that they can pre uh, preempt going into diversion. We also have a couple of customers with the surgery application. And one particular, we created the forecasting for surgical tray requirements for the surgical um, department there so that the uh, sterile supply director knew how many trays he was going to need in advance. We did a seven day uh, forward looking so he could know whether he had needed to order more trays or what he had to have sterilized at a given time. And then additionally, we have several other organizations. We have a lot of large uh, hospital systems and they uh, love using DI to help manage their distribution across all the operations of all the different facilities. For instance, in um, Puerto Rico, we have several customers that have multiple hospitals within their system and being able to see everything on one page across all systems has made their life much easier as well as uh, the CMS outcomes measures. With the way that the eye is doing them, we put in the algorithm, but it's it's almost, you know, as soon as it gets coded, it's available to your quality team to make sure that all the things that are needed for the completion of any of those outcomes is done. If there's any questions, they can address it before it gets submitted. And hopefully that'll help improve their outcomes as well. Great. Thanks for that summary. And along the way, we've actually learned quite a bit from our implementation projects and our customers. Can you talk a little bit about some of the best practices that we've identified uh, to ensure analytics project success as well as drive adoption? Absolutely. The number one, regardless of anything else, is leadership from stakeholders. If the stakeholders don't um, help to reinforce the need and the, the need for the use of the tool, then you kind of get a stalemate and oftentimes it'll sit in IT or in finance and never get disseminated to the rest of the uh, organization where we actually, when it does get out to the organization, it really does help to drive that top-down data-driven accountability because everyone is looking at the same thing at the same time and understanding the same business rules. The other key is once this does start to take, a, to gain feet and gain leverage, everybody wants something. You'll hear, can Diver do this, can Diver do that? Yes, you can do all of that, but making sure that you focus on your strategic priorities first and make sure it aligns with what the strategic plan is for that given year is gonna to help to prioritize the, pro the projects as they come through. 
the other major, major key thing is to engage subject matter experts. Oftentimes we build these, we start these projects in IT or in finance and we build it based on the rules that the folks in IT or finance may or may not know. And then all of a sudden we go to expose it to people who know the business, know what they're doing and they say, yeah, that doesn't work for us. So it's critical to have them engaged early on in the process and always solicit feedback from, uh, for information from the consumers. And make sure when you ask for a response, you can respond to it or let them know upfront that, yeah, that's not a possible thing. Oftentimes, you know, when you solicit feedback and do nothing from it coming back, it kind of leads, leads people to stop providing it. Very good, great advice, thanks. So the last thing we want to do is to look at our future roadmap. And that absurd layer that I mentioned earlier, uh, takes information from all of the different modules in the underlying layers, uh, combines them and then attributes them in various ways. So physician performance advisor, which is already a product, attributes uh, measure information, KPI information to individual providers by role. Uh, population analytics attributes that information to individual uh, people, provides the ability to define things like dis uh, disease registries and population sub segments. The command center takes real-time information from across the surgery, ED, and hospital operations, uh, hourly census, and other real-time information, and uh, uh, provides visibility across an entire facility or a whole health system to identify opportunities to improve uh, workflow and patient flow and resolve bottlenecks. And then finally, clinical analytics uh, takes advantage of increasingly standardized clinical information and standard interfaces such as FHIR to enrich information, uh, information throughout this ecosystem with clinical information such as lab orders and results, medication orders and administration. Okay, well, quick overview of our uh, product line. Be very interested in any feedback that you have on existing products or things that we're considering in the future.